بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته um, During this reminder, we want to focus on comfort Comfort for us while we're at the masjid So <clears throat> naturally our bodies are going to react differently to the heat and to the cold So when we're coming to the masjid, someone may find it that it's too hot Another may find it that it's too cold and just kind of like the Goldilocks and the Three Bears, someone else is going to come and say that it's just perfect. So what I would want for us to understand is that we, again, need to work together. Um, and in order for that to happen, to understand that what we're doing here is <clears throat> not possible to, to actually set the temperature per each person's individual preference and liking. So what we do have of the air conditioning system set we ask that everybody just uh, accept that that's what it's at. We've set it to a degree that is going to hopefully be good for everybody. And so what it means for each and every one of us that comes to the mission is to be able to dress in a way that allows us, depending on how we feel, that if it's too cold for us, that we can dress up so that we can keep warm. So you may need to bring thicker socks if you feel it at your feet or uh, something of a vest that you can throw on, for example, if you feel it on your back or abdomen, whatever the case is. And likewise, if it feels too hot, that you can dress down, that you can take off that vest or you can, you know, remove your socks if need be. And by the way, taking your socks off, um, if you've made wudu, that doesn't break your wudu. So taking your socks off is completely fine. You can pray barefoot. That's not a problem, regardless of whether you wiped on your socks or not. But the point being, <clears throat> we want us all to be able to come to the masjid to feel comfortable. And the only way that that's going to happen is that if we understand that the temperature is set the same each and every night. So those of you who came last night and the night before and you realize now that, hey, it was uh, just right for me, then keep, keep it up, whatever you were doing. If you're realizing that it's too cold for you, then go ahead and bring with you what you need so that you can be warmer so that you won't feel cold. For those of you who still feel that, man, it was way too hot, then dress down or dress with less layers or whatever else it is that you need to do so that you can better, inshallah ta'ala, worship Allah Rabbul Alameen and have that comfort that you deserve during your worship. The last point that we'll mention is with regards to the fans. Now, alhamdulillah, in the sister section especially, we had new ceiling fans installed. But the ceiling fans are present all throughout. Whether they're on the walls or the ceiling fans, they're going to be put on to better help circulate the air. Now, I know that some folks with regards to these fans, they feel that it makes them sick, it makes them dizzy, and who knows what of stuff. Uh, firstly, don't look up at them. Um, secondly, with regards to the fans, if they bother you, Try to come early so that you're not going to be forced to pray directly underneath it. So that you can be a distance away from it, in front of it, behind it, to the left or right, whatever it may be. But so that you're not going to be directly beneath it and then, you know, have to worry about uh, getting sick because the fan was blowing on you or otherwise. What we don't want to have happening is that one person clicks it on, another clicks it off, another touches this, and then there's arguments and fights because why? Because each one of us wants it to be how we'd like it to be. In your own houses, you can do that. You can make the temperature, the fans, whatever you'd like to do. But in the masjid, we are trying to set it so that it's for the majority, for the populace as a whole. Therefore, we're asking you to not touch it. Rather, for you to go ahead and um, do what you need to from your side to either feel cooler or to feel warmer, to feel better but to not in any way touch anything of what's there, and especially not to fight with anybody else during that process. So please, inshallah ta'ala, for yourselves <clears throat> and for family as a whole that's coming, each one of you, please uh, take note and let's work together. And for those who perhaps aren't watching uh, Facebook, if you are from those who are, please share this with whoever else it may be within your family or within the community in whatever language is best so that they can surely understand. And we ask Allah Rabbul Alameen who has blessed us already to Alhamdulillah reach the second day of Ramadan that he continue to make easy for us everything of remembering him, 
thanking him and worshiping him beautifully. We ask him Jalla Ala that he accept us and all that we are sincerely doing for him, emulating the Blessed Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that he answer our prayers and that he keep everybody safe and well. Allahumma ameen. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.